Some U.S. states are taking measures to prevent the federal government shutdown from harming their tourist industries. They're footing the bill to reopen some national parks and landmarks as early as Saturday. All national parks and some government offices closed on October 1st in the partial shutdown of the federal government. The state of New York has agreed to pay $60,000 a day to cover the personnel and other costs of reopening the Statue of Liberty. The statue is one of the country's most iconic landmarks, attracting more than 3.5 million tourists each year. State officials say some 400 federal workers have been furloughed since the shutdown began. Governor Andrew Cuomo said the closure of the Statue of Liberty has had a terrible impact on the local economy and tourism. The state of Arizona has also agreed to cover the cost of reopening Grand Canyon National Park. But state officials are still calling for an early solution to the fiscal impasse, saying it'll be difficult to foot the bill for very long.